guys, it's your girl T, and once again, our favorite auntie is making national news. Bobby Brown's sister and Bobby Christina's auntie. She is back talking to Inside Edition. As you guys all know, a month ago, I had did the video about Bobby Christina's funeral and how Leola Brown um, interrupted the funeral. She was really mad at Pat Houston and said that Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina would haunt Pat Houston from the grave. So now Leola is finally sitting down and talking to Inside Edition about her outburst and everything that went down at the funeral. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these two clips, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I believe that somebody killed my niece just like they killed her mother. Bobby Christina Brown's Aunt Leola Brown is claiming in an Inside Edition exclusive that she thinks her niece was murdered. Nick murdered Bobby Christina. When Nick gets arrested, everything will fall like dominoes. Nick Gordon has never been arrested or charged in connection with Bobby Christina's death, and he has denied any wrongdoing. Bobby was found unresponsive in a bathtub last January and was taken off life support on July 26th. I believe that there are several people that wanted Bobby Christina dead, but I think the purpose of her death was to gain full access to Whitney Houston's estate. Watch Inside Edition to see what Leola says happened in the days before Bobby's death. See, something is wrong here. Something is very wrong here. The moment that shocked the nation. It's not over. It has just begun. It happened at the funeral for Whitney Houston's only daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, affectionately called Chrissy by her family. And this is her aunt marching right over to reporters. What followed was a verbal tirade that was, in a word, jaw dropping. I have information, I have evidence. It's not over. It's not over. I'll be doing interviews and I'll be speaking out. But that was all she had to say until now. In this Inside Edition exclusive, Leola Brown, the older sister of Whitney's ex-husband, singer Bobby Brown, is revealing what led to her outburst. Chrissy was surrounded by people that cared nothing Nothing, nothing for her. They didn't care about her, just like they didn't care about Whitney. It was widely reported that Leola was thrown out of the service after she launched a verbal attack at Pat Houston, Whitney's sister-in-law, who planned the funeral. There were these reports that Tyler Perry threw you out of the church. Are those reports true? Not at all. What happened? I got up. And when I saw Pat making her way to the podium to, to speak, I turned and I looked at Pat and I said, Pat, this is wrong. You know you're wrong for this. Whitney will haunt you from the grave. What was wrong that was going on it that you wrong. would say that Whitney would haunt you from the grave? The whole setup of the funeral was just not right to me. There were, um, Chrissy has a lot of nephews. Um, none of them were on the program to be the pallbearers. But I walked out a little early because I couldn't sit there no longer. After the funeral, friends and family members took a party bus to Pat Houston's home outside Atlanta. They chanted Bobby Christina's name when they arrived for what was reportedly a Sweet 16 themed party, something Pat Houston planned because Bobby Christina never had a Sweet 16 of her own. What did you think of a Sweet 16 themed funeral? Of course it's bizarre, it's crazy. That is the most, at this time, you want to do a 16, sweet 16? Doesn't make sense to me. You know, a precious life was taken. Mm -hmm. And you have a big tour bus, party bus in front of your house. Is everybody okay? For five months, Bobby Christina was on life support. The nation wondered what was going on. You walk what? into her hospital room and what did you see? I looked at Bobby Chris and she was just lying there. You know, the machine was breathing for her and she was just lying there, helpless. I walked in there in shock, like, what happened? Then came published reports that an unidentified family member had taken a photo of Bobby Christina as she lay dying and sold it to a tabloid magazine. Did you take that photograph? Hell no. Like the rest of us, Leola Brown can't get over how Whitney Houston's life came to such an end. Now Whitney's only child is gone too. At some point, we have to wake up 
and realize that this thing is just too close, mm -hmm. too similar. Mother, daughter, both in bathtubs. All right, so you guys just watched those clips, and this whole situation is just really sad. As you guys know, I've been covering stories about Bobby Christina since like 2011. It's very sad in the manner in which this young girl passed away, and it's very eerily similar to her mother. Now, I do agree with a lot of things that Leola Brown said. Um, I do feel like Pat Houston was definitely taking advantage of the situation. It makes no sense to throw Bobby Christina a sweet 16 birthday party, and she was 22 years old at the time of her death. It's not like she was a 16 year old kid who died before her party the reason why she did not have a super sweet 16 party is because that was the year that the pictures leaked of her online of her snorting cocaine and Whitney Houston then decided to put her into rehab so for her 16th birthday she was in rehab so that's why she didn't have a party so for you know Pat Houston to try and throw a party and for them to just carry on in the way they were carrying on to me makes no sense one thing I don't agree with Leola Brown on is the whole Nick Gordon thing you know she wants to kind of act like Nick Gordon can killed Bobby Christina. I think Nick Gordon was more or less her enabler. I think he made excuses and he got high with her. I don't feel like he necessarily killed her. I feel like this is way bigger than Nick Gordon. Now, I remember three years ago when Leo Ola Brown was on Inside Edition um, and she was talking about how she wanted Bobby Christina to be careful. She wanted her to trust nobody but Bobby Brown and her family. She stated three years ago that Bobby Christina was in danger. A lot of folks dismissed it. A lot of folks didn't understand, you know, what was going on. But now, fast forward three years later Bobby Christina is dead I want you guys to go ahead and watch this interview from three years ago and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary yes I, I am concerned about my niece Bobby Christina Chrissy is not safe right now I want to say to Chrissy that it's very 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 important that she does not trust anybody at this time anybody except her father her grandmother sissy and myself and i mean that calm but intense concern from bobby brown's sister leola who was so close to whitney houston that she claims they called each other soul sisters and now leola is looking out for her niece right now is the time to just really shut the door both Leola and her attorney Reginald Mason remain unspecific about who may try to harm Christy. There are persons that possibly who would want to take advantage of Bobby Christina's fragile state of mind. Meanwhile, Leola says her brother Bobby is not doing well at all, but she says don't blame Bobby for Whitney's demise. Bobby has nothing, nothing at all to do with uh, Whitney's death. In response to claims that Bobby contributed to Whitney's drug abuse, Leola says that's not true. Papa John, Whitney's father, says it best. Uh, he loved Bobby dearly. And he said out of his own mouth, her father said out of his mouth, he was tired of uh, people talking about his son-in-law. You know, he said Bobby had nothing to do with uh, Whitney doing drugs in the past or whatever. Bobby never had anything to do with that. While awaiting toxicology results to determine what killed Whitney, Leola has reached out to the Beverly Hills Police Department to make sure they do a thorough investigation. I believe Whitney's death was not accidental, no. So then in Leola's mind, what killed Whitney? My attorney uh, has advised me not to get into that at all, but it's very important to know that she did not just pass away like that. No. And if it's the last thing that I do, I'm going to find out what truly happened to my sister. Right, so you guys just watched that interview and you know a lot of folks called Leola Brown crazy back then and like I've always said in the words of Dave Chappelle the worst thing you can do is call somebody crazy is because it's dismissive because you don't understand what's going on behind the scenes because you don't understand what's going on in that family dynamic people are quick to call other people crazy and just dismiss them and everything that Leola Brown said came to pass it really wasn't crazy and I definitely feel like there's more than meets the eye when it comes to Bobby Christine and Whitney Houston's death both deaths like I said are just too eerily similar 
similar. And it sounds like both of these women were worth more dead than they were alive. So this whole situation is just really, really sad. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Leola Brown's interview with Inside Edition. And then how do you feel about what Leola Brown said three years ago about how Bobby Christina was in danger and that she needed to be careful. And now everything that Leola Brown said three years ago has come to pass. How do you guys feel about that as well? So once again, let's get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and you can show me some love by watching, rating, and subscribing to my videos. Don't forget to share them, and also don't forget to follow me on social media. And if you get a chance, make sure you check out lovelytea.com where you can purchase a coffee mug or a t-shirt. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.